As we saw, the error for the uh, forward difference method and the backwards difference method was order h. The error for the center difference method was order h squared. Uh, that's what we see here. Uh, but we can keep going. We could do, um, for example, we could do an, another center difference approximation where we expand about fxi minus 1, fxi plus 1, fxi minus 2, and fxi uh, plus 2. It should be a plus. fxi plus 2. And uh, instead of doing that here for you, uh, we'll just go ahead and refer you to uh, pages 654 and 655 in Chapter Canal. And their uh, figures 23.1 uh, shows the forward uh, divided difference, 23.2 shows the backward divided difference, and figure 23.3 uh, shows the uh, center difference. Here I can, I can go ahead and get these for you. Here they are. Uh, we have the backward divided difference uh, formulas, and uh, for that we see though the, the we have error order h uh, for for using just the two points. Uh, we have error order h squared. We could derive uh, another one for the first derivative. We can also derive different formulas uh, for the second derivative. We can derive them for the third der derivative, the fourth derivative, uh, and so forth. And, and there's an associated error with each of those. Uh, the forward difference method, those look uh, very similar to the backward difference methods. Uh, and then the center difference uh, approach is, is what we'll typically use, uh, where we have, uh, you can see the order h squared and order h to the fourth with the same number of points as getting error order h or order h squared with the forward or backward difference methods. Now, I have to point out a couple things here, though. And that is that, first of all, we may not always be able to do the center divided difference uh, method because if we have a table of points and our first point uh, doesn't have anything before it, we can't do the center divided difference approach. We have to we have to use one of the other two. Similarly, when we're at the end of a end of a string of data points, uh, we can't do a, a center divided difference uh, approach there either. And so there are times where we where we have to do uh, the the uh, forward or backwards difference uh, methods. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind when you're applying these formulas that although the center divided difference uh, formulas are more accurate with, uh, with fewer number of points, uh, there aren't, they aren't always able to be applied.